everybody. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to another episode of Bourbon Booze. It is Tuesday. Glad you're with us. Hopefully you are having a great week. Uh, make sure you do hit that like and subscribe for our video today because this is a very special um, uh, tasting, review, yeah, sampling, uh, because more than likely um, you'll never get this and I really do apologize, but you can live vicariously through us. But make sure you do hit that like and subscribe. It means so much to us. And remember, we do have a challenge out there. You can watch um, uh, videos, uh, last Friday's cocktail video on the challenge. But that's to get subscribers to make Cody's life miserable. And what's better in life than making Cody's life miserable? The stuff we're about ready to drink is better. So this is a sourced rye whiskey called Boosh rye bush rye bush. and this is bush number two so this is their second one i guess from crowded barrel uh distillery which is in austin texas most of you out there probably know crowded barrel from their uh youtube channel called uh the whiskey tribe and the whiskey vault they have two mm -hmm. channels uh we've been down there quite a few times i met uh uh a couple of them I've never not met Daniel, but I've met Rex and then Emma when she worked there. Uh, but it's a great place, fun people, um, good times, super nice. So if you ever get down there, you should try it. You can also order online uh, their whiskeys and they'll hold up for you until you can get there. So you don't have to wait to get there. But this is their rye whiskey. It is cast strength at 60%, 60 percent, 60 point eight five percent or 121.7 proof 121.7 proof uh, the age is seven years five months and it comes in at fifty dollars uh, almost everything they sell is fifty but that's pretty reasonable mm, yeah I guess uh, and I say it's sourced because uh, they do have a whiskey coming off they, they do vodka right now and I think that their first whiskey is gonna be available any day now, any week, or I may have missed it, it's already out, I'm not sure. But this is sourced from Poland. There's a distillery in Poland that made this rye. And so it all gonna, the way over the pond. Yeah, I'm gonna assume that it's a, um, a European rye and wheat, imported by Kazuba and Sons Distillery. Of Petersburg, Florida, bottled in Austin, Texas, and distilled in Poland. So it went from Poland to Florida to Texas. Did they age it any? I believe they did. Oh wow, super strong. Oh, it's definitely okay. So price-wise, this is going to be a one. Let me get that straight out there. Um, it is very strong rye. That pepper. And you can tell Spiciness. it's 121 proof. Yeah, but I think it's more of the spicy, oh, okay. uh, the rye rather than the alcohol. I think it was just that first note, and then now it's kind of like... Getting some vanilla. <clears throat> smells like a little apple or something. Okay. Yeah, apple or apricot. Yeah. And some sweetness to it, that vanilla, but something else. It's kind of like avoiding me because there's something in there and I can't pick it up. Right. Maybe a little molasses. And just a hint of tobacco. Yeah. I'm gonna have to say straight off, this is a four. This is one of the most intense <coughs> rye aromas that we have. I was gonna go three and a half, but I'll go four. Mm. Wow. It's spicy heat oh 
Um, I'm gonna jump right to uh, the bite. It's it's not a medicinal bite, but it is a very strong front end bite with a little bit of back end. I think it's. I didn't get a lot of back end. It's it was all it's right a on the, burning back there. I got it all on the tip of my tongue, and it wasn't alcohol burn it spicy rye mm -hmm. I mean I'm sure the alcohol did have a I'm gonna say it's a three on bite that's what I was gonna go with and in the middle I'm getting like um kind of a numbing anise effect or not anise um anise is that what it is anus not anus <laughs> <laughs> Anise. Anise. No, I'm leaving that. No, clip it and no. play it a lot. Like, put it like on a button. It's got some chocolate in there. Okay. Definitely the peppery and the tobacco. Spicy tobacco. It so does got some sweetness, but. Some like star anise, like a almost like a, a a Thai pepper type of uh, kind of aroma, not aroma, um, just feel to the tongue. Cody's over there cracking. <laughs> it was hilarious. Time. I just want to, like, yes, I can. I so can smell the <laughs> it's pretty, shut up. <laughs> it's it's a pretty big. <laughs> Pretty intense flavor. I'm gonna say three and a half. That's what I was gonna go for. I think that the flavor is there. It's just it's such a high spicy proof that That's I'm That's what I was gonna say. It. If it would have if it would have been like you know 90, 100 proof, I think it would get a higher um, flavor. Well, just got a uh, alcohol straight up the nostril. Water does mellow out the intensity a bit, except for that squirt up my nostril. Yeah. Now that's so much better with water. It but kind of brings out, the water kind of brings out the alcohol and mm -hmm. the, the um, I still think it's a three and a half on flavor, but it tastes a little bit better. This would probably be something good as a Sazerac. Uh, you know, where you're, Cooling it down with that ice ball and getting a little bit of the um, the sugar into it and the the uh, orange bitters and the I like my Sazeracs with uh, uh, whatever the stuff. Yeah, the what's my spray? The bitters? No, no, no. This stuff. Oh, the the green stuff. Oh. Absinthe. I don't know why I forgot that. Probably because this stuff just sucked all the. And I think the water kind of brain cells out. Calms down the bite too. Yeah. So if we add this up, you and I have the same. So we have a eleven point five, which I don't know what that is. Um, eleven point five is a hair under a three. This is not a three. No, this, this is, is a three and a half or yeah. four i think it's a three and a half as it stands i think it could be a four if you add more um cooling factors to ice or something um i really like it i want to like it more because i love crowded barrel but i'm not going to i mean we have the eleanor here this is my third bottle of eleanor i think or maybe it's my second uh this is the third bottle so uh Eleanor is spectacular, also sourced, but I think that this is a three and a half. And you guys can argue with us in the comments below. Um, I know that we're dealing with probably the most popular um, whiskey duo, duo. Whiskey, whiskey duo on the uh, internet, and they drive the narrative a lot of times, but... I would have to say this is a three and a half. I want to say it's better. I want to say it's a four. Um, I, will, I, I would think if they just brought the 
the proof down just a little bit. Yeah, just let, there's there's a lot, there's a big trend today, a huge trend of getting that cask strength, high proof, <clears throat> whatever. Um, and everybody's just going for it. And now that the big wigs like Buffalo Trace is starting to get into that and start selling that, uh, people are just going crazy for it. Benchmark is into it. And Benchmark is like a $15 whiskey. But they're doing the, the single barrel and the barrel proof, cask proof stuff. Yes. And people are just going crazy for it. And so those guys would probably love this stuff, but... Sometimes it depends on my mood, though. Yeah. Because sometimes I need a... I want the punch. I like it. But sometimes I'm not ready for that, you right. know? So it's just the mood that I'm in. Because if we reviewed this two days ago, I might have said, I love this punch. So Cody's wondering if you're in the mood for anise. No. <laughs> Cody's pig snorting bad. Oh, my <laughs> hell. And... All right, tell us what you think. Make sure you leave comments down below. Uh, what's your favorite uh, Crowded Barrel offerings? Um, we got a couple. You know, we've got some Eleanor's and some uh, of their uh, distillery, what are they called? Alliance series. And then, um, of course, the bush rye. But tell us what you think. Make sure you do hit that like and subscribe. Check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok. And um, we're going to have to call 911 because Cody's having a heart attack. <laughs> He's laughing too much. Uh, and check out everything else we have to offer. We've got a great coffee tomorrow. And then on Thursday, we have a uh, uh, strange whiskey. Don't miss that one. And Friday's cocktail. So... Remember, there's no bad whiskey. There's only good whiskey and great whiskey. This is really good whiskey. It is. Don't get us wrong. This is really good whiskey. It could be great. It could be great. Cheers. I can't wait to see Later. what they start distilling. Cheers. Later.